Austin Cares in theaters now. This is a rated R thriller directed by Austin Peters, most known for music videos. I'm not familiar with all of his music videos, but that is his background. He also co-wrote the screenplay with Sam Freilich and Deering Reagan. The film stars Elizabeth Banks, Louis Pullman, Michaela Rodriguez, and Luis Mendez. The premise follows Hope Goldman, facialist to the stars, who's on the precipice of launching her own skincare brand, her own cosmetic line, but is being sabotaged by someone in her inner circle. The film is inspired by true events and takes place in 2013, and I feel like that's the strength of the storytelling. I like that this is a period piece. The fact that it takes place in 2013 limits it to time not controlled by today's technology and marketing strategy, and it's not heavily curated by social media influencers. She, Hope Goldman, has to build this brand organically and market it without SEO. That was refreshing to watch for me, and in many ways, nostalgic to see. I think that's a benefit to the storytelling. The camera spends a lot of time deadpanning Elizabeth Banks, who plays Hope Goldman in the story. We see her in real time growing tough skin. The elasticity of a woman building a brand, running a business that centers women, and she's being pulled in every which way. She has to have tough skin. She has to have elasticity. Through all of the turmoil, she's got to toughen up. And as her clients and her silent partner abandons her, she begins to spiral into a vengeful rage. That interests me. And I like how that is a parallel to the overall theme of the story. This film is a stunningly accurate portrait of a woman in a business that centers women. This story is very engaging. The tone took some time to build, I will admit that, and to establish itself as a thriller. The trailer did not help me. It didn't sell me to want to see this film because I was confused by the genre and the tone. But once the tone is established, I was rooting for the protagonist. I was willing to go on this hero's journey. The more deliberate the pacing and tone, the more I was interested. And I enjoyed watching the supporting cast. They each have very distinct roles and really contributed to the overall story. Michaela Rodriguez plays Hope's trusted publicist and assistant, but not her savior, which works here. Louis Pullman plays her sketchy friend who volleys between life coach and leech, and his role was very meaty as he serves up this delicious villain. Luis Mendez is Hope's rival and relentless competitor who sends her into this downward spiral full of rage because he is just the better facialist. Everyone here pulls their weight. I like the development of each of the characters. Each have their own journey that eventually converges to a satisfying climax. Now, fair warning, there are a few scenes that freaked me out that are very cringy because we're talking about a woman running her own business, who's being sabotaged by a man, and this villain attempts to exploit her as a woman. That vulnerability is being exploited, and she's got to fend it off, and it got a little cringy here and there. So fair warning, everything that comes with how she's being exploited is explored here. I liked this movie. I like skincare. The set design anchored me in 2013. It captured Hollywood 2013 well, as far as I'm concerned. The score paired well with the scenes. The wardrobe was very reminiscent of the times. The characters were flushed out and had dimension to them. I liked this movie, and I recommend that you see it. Now, you might say, well, do I have to rush to the theater to see this, or can I wait for it to stream? Sure, you can, but this is one that you will probably enjoy with at the theaters with your hive. So I recommend that you see it in the theater. It's not for everybody. There are cringeworthy moments, but I think Elizabeth Banks does a great job holding the emotional weight of this story. And it's one that I think is worth seeing in the theater. Skincare is in theaters now.